Yo, what is going on, you guys? Mamba Gang, Mamba Army, my Laker fans, my Kobe fans, my basketball fans, my YouTube family, man. Every one of you guys around the world, thank you guys for coming back to my channel. First and foremost, man, I want to just say thank you to each and every one of you guys. I just hit 600 subscribers. Yes, uh, my last video did pretty well. It was a video to, to give you guys an on-feed of the Kobe 4 Pro Tro Mamba Cetas that released about a week and a half ago. Yeah, still upset that Nike only released 40,000. If that number is accurate, 40,000 pairs of the Kobe 4 Mamba Cetas. But what can we do, right? Um, so I want to give you guys a little information about where the market stands right now with that shoe should you buy it now should you wait and some information came out today a new pro tro a new kobe pro tro is coming our way you guys again it's just a rumor so all we can do is hope but i want to see you show you some pictures of that kobe pro tro that's supposed to be coming out in late fall of this year and uh yeah let me head home man uh let me just kind of settle in i just left the gym as you guys saw at the beginning um but yeah man i'll see you guys in a bit peace all right you guys we are inside the house as you guys saw i wore my kobe 4 pro tro mamba Cetas to the gym today simple to wear black and white shoe beautiful shoe man i'm in love with this sneaker man so glad they released these but let's get right into it man as you guys see behind me the lakers versus warriors game is on so i'm gonna try to make this as sweet quick and simple as possible um, shout out to all my Lakers and all my Warrior fans out there. It's going to be a good game. I'm hoping it's a good game, but three to one, Lakers are up. They either have an, well, they have an opportunity to take out the defending champions today, send them home and go move on to the next round. But they are playing at the Warriors' home. So the Warriors are tough at home. You guys have some crazy loud fans. So may the best team win today, man. Um, aside from that, man, as you guys saw, let's get right into it should you buy the kobe 4 pro tro mamba Cita today or wait let's check it out all right you guys so i will be using StockX as a reference to show you guys where the market is at you're more than welcome to check out go ebay and all that good stuff other selling platforms but if you guys are familiar with StockX, you guys know that this platform is for buying and selling sneakers brand new sneakers um, it's, just, it's probably the platform that I use the most uh, to check up prices or even sell my shoes or buy shoes on there. So let's check it out, you guys. So I did place a bid for 250 if you guys see right there at the top. I placed that bid about a week ago on release day. And the reason for that, it was just to give me notifications on what the lowest ask was or would be for my size 10 and a half. Um, so let's check out the prices as of right now for all the sizes. So, oops. Okay, so for smaller sizes, we are at the lower 300 mark, mid 300s. Um, once you start hitting size seven, size seven and a half, eight, all the way to nine, it starts hitting up to the fours, mid 400s. Anything about nine and a half all the way to 12, you're looking at 450 range to all the way to, as you guys can see, 510, the highest for a size 12. So now I'm gonna be honest, the market has been going up as of maybe a day, day and a half, you guys. The reason is I'm gonna show you guys some proof. Um, I've been getting emails because I did place that bid at 250. I've been getting notifications that the lowest ask for my 10 and a half about two, three days ago was about 413, 416. I'll leave a picture right here in the corner so you guys can see. So my size 10 and a half did hit as low as 416, 413 um, ask obviously this is before fees and all that good stuff and taxes and shipping uh, which would probably give you a total of 500 now if you were smart you also know that offer up there's a lot of people a lot of resellers on there that wanted to get rid of this shoe right away um, the day they picked them up from like their nike store um, here in california where they hit the raffles or undefeated they were trying to get rid of that shoe i even saw low like meat like pairs going for around 400 to 420 in my size 10 and a half now if you're gonna ask me 
that question, should you buy this shoe now or wait? My strong opinion, opinion is to buy it now. If you guys know the trend, man, Kobe shoes tend to go up over time. Um, I think this is a very iconic shoe because it resembles Gigi as well. So I think it has a huge meaning to it. It is not like your typical GR. And I think, I'm just gonna assume that that's why only 40,000 pairs were released of this shoe, okay? It is not your regular colorway like the Kobe 5 and Kobe 6 that they released. Um, they obviously released like the Kobe 5 in the Chaos colorway. That's more of a GR colorway that we have received within the last 10 years or so. Um, whereas this one, it has a little bit more meaning to it. And I believe, I want to say that's why Nike and Vanessa made the decision to only release 40,000 pairs. Um, I'm still upset of that, man. I think that's not fair for a lot of Kobe fans. If you guys go to my Instagram, there's a ton of you guys that are diehard Kobe fans just like me that always share your collection and you guys always express to me how upset you are that Vanessa or Nike perhaps made the decision to only lease 40,000 pairs and then yet a lot of celebrities, Vanessa's friends or whatnot, repost that, hey, thank you Vanessa for sending us these Kobe GG shoes, you know what I mean? So it's very upsetting to see that, man. I don't blame you guys for being upset i'm very upset myself because a lot of you guys probably are going to look to pay resale that's why this video is for you guys my suggestion man um if you guys know about offer up offer up is a, another platform here i'll pull it up actually so offer up is another platform where people buy and sell anything from shoes from vehicles from clothing anything on there man offer up has been one of my actually one of my best best platforms for me finding some crazy kobe's in the past you know what i mean because there's there's collectors here there's people that just want to get rid of kobe's some people that don't even really know about shoes and they enter raffles and they just want some quick cash so for instance right now i looked up kobe in a size 10 and a half yes these are prices that are probably at market but they're local sellers local to your city so you can actually message them and kind of negotiate a lower price for instance that 500 dollars one right there you can tell them hey man can you meet me at 420 dollars and i'll pick them up right now don't be afraid to negotiate ben um you'll find some other pairs right here 450 now they're lower he might be able to do 400 which is obviously less than stock x because with stock x you're looking at a for my 10 and a half you're looking at 468 plus fees and shipping and all that it should come out to around 550 or so so just to let you guys know man offer up is is, is a low-key platform where a lot of people buy and sell stuff on there the only thing I do advise you guys is to do your homework. Make sure um, you kind of do your research on the seller. It's almost like eBay, but in local, local people are selling on here. So what I mean by do your homework is like, for instance, if I really wanted to make an offer for this uh, shoe right here, I will see the seller and making sure he has five stars filled right there, like he does. And he has 20 ratings, which is really good. He's been a member since 2017, so it's not like he just made his file or page, you know, yesterday and then it's trying to scam me. And uh, another thing that I mentioned in my last video, man, buy these before the fakes come out. I'm pretty sure there's going to be fakes floating around in the market soon. Um, buy this shoe now. That's my advice to you guys, my opinion. But at the end of the day, you guys do what's best in your judgment, what you feel is right. Um, if you don't have the money, maybe get rid of some of your other shoes that um, you're not using, you know, whether it's Jordans or something just laying around. Uh, I've told you guys, especially if you're younger, find a little uh, summer job or a little uh, weekend job, cutting grass, washing pads, anything like that that you can come up with to make some extra cash and get your shoes that you want, man. But that's my advice, man. If you're going to buy this shoe, buy it now. That's, that's pretty much what I let you guys know. If you are interested in buying the Kobe 4 Pro Troll Mamacita, buy it now because 
I do believe it's going to go up within time. Now, I'm not saying it's going to go up next week, but it's going to go up within the next months or so. You know what I mean? Uh, once the holidays hit, a lot of people are going to be buying, want to be buying shoes for as presents. Remember that. So this shoe might go up just like the Grinches and stuff like that, man. But let me also move on to the next subject, uh, which is another Kobe Pro Troll that we should be receiving in the fall. This are These are just rumors, okay? As I've stated before in my videos, these are just rumors. Nike did not come and say this. Vanessa did not come out and say this. But let me show you some pictures that were leaked today. Many of you guys probably seen them already, but let me pop them up. All right, you guys, here you have it. The Kobe 8 Pro Troll in the all white colorway. Now, I've seen all day some people are a little bit iffy about the all white, triple white colorway. Um, all, a lot of you guys are saying that, uh, you know, it's going to get dirty real quick. Obviously, playing basketball, you get stepped on, all that good stuff. But here you have it, man. If you guys know me, I love my white sneakers. I love my bright, colorful sneakers. I really love this shoe. I think um, the only all-white Kobe that I have is the Kobe 4 uh, OG. Uh, but I think that one has a little bit of silver in it. I'll leave a picture in the corner for you guys to know what I'm... Uh, so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But here you have it, man. How do you guys feel about this one? Now... If you guys tell, there are some, it's obviously the Pro Tro version. So there's a little bit of differences. I believe someone pointed out this little um, stitching right here on the uh, shoe lace uh, eyelet, if you want to call that. Um, but here you have it, man. You know, the Kobe 8. I believe a lot of you guys were waiting for the Kobe 8. This is one of the most uh wonderful kobe uh basketball shoes ever made man the kobe 8 was one of my favorites to play ball in so i'm glad they approached them but here are some pictures if you guys have not seen them if you want to take a closer look go to sneaker news let me zoom in right there because now it's giving me a blurry sneaker news and just type in kobe 8 and you should see these pictures up close and personal personal but here you have it man I think that's all the pictures they have, but the Kobe 8 Pro Tro in the all white version or all white colorway. How do you guys feel about this bad one, man? Leave your opinion in the comments below about this. Um, again, it's just a rumor. I believe they also said like there's going to be a lot of padding on the tongue. It does look a little bit bulkier, like more padded than the OG Kobe 8 um also the swoosh i don't remember the swoosh being uh like knitted like that right yeah so that's something new so here you have it man yeah i just wanted to give you guys that information because obviously it is kobe 8 or uh, kobe information and uh that's it for today guys um I, my I, my feelings all over the place i really want that shoe i really love it all white colorway yes it's gonna get dirty i'll probably need like two three pairs of that it is what it is now my only thing i do want to add nike if you're watching this vanessa any anyone out there that works with nike please mass produce this sneaker it does not have koji's name on it um i don't think there's very much uh i guess like meaning to it because it, it just seems like it's all white no one's name on it or anything like that please mass produce this shoe i did read that this is actually supposed to come out in gs sizes men sizes and even little little kid sizes so i hope that's true if that's true that means they're gonna make tons of pairs but of course the demand is gonna be high as always so nike please 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 mass produce this shoe so with that being said you guys please leave in a comment below leave a comment below how you feel about that kobe 8 pro tro and also are you looking to buy the kobe 4 pro tro gg mama mama Cita's now or are you gonna wait um yeah that's it for today guys as always keep practicing your mama mentality becoming a better version of yourself each and every day man go lakers i'll see you guys in the next video i do have an unboxing please subscribe if you haven't 
you don't want to miss out the next unboxing i have and uh, i'll leave you guys there man until next time please all oh, also please follow me on my instagram mamba kicks dot la tiktok as well mamba kicks la i share a lot of information on my ig about any kobe news because that's easy i don't have to make a crazy video like this and upload it and edit it and all that good stuff so i'll see you guys next one man much love to everyone out there again thank you guys for the 600 subscribers i appreciate you guys i love every one of you guys for supporting and keeping the mamba the kobe legacy alive man shout out to everyone out there wherever you're watching i'll see you guys in the next one adios bye hasta luego peace Thank you.